More confirmation hearings are held to fill the new administration's cabinet. The main opposition continues to be on the offensive. However, today's target was the education minister nominee accused of ethical lapses. Shin Zemin has the latest from Parliament. Kim Sang-won nominated to head the country's education ministry, who would also double the role as the deputy prime minister for social affairs, faced questions from the assembly during his one-day confirmation hearing. Opposition party lawmakers try to shoot down the education minister nominee, calling him unfit for the position over allegations that he had plagiarized his research papers, to which Kim had responded by saying that he had done nothing to be ashamed of. Answering policy-related questions, the former education superintendent for Gyeonggi-do province said that he would improve equality in education and said that he'll monitor the increasingly competitive educational system once sworn in. Meanwhile, after a relatively smooth confirmation hearing process, lawmakers adopted a hearing report on the unification ministry nominee Cho Myung-gyun. During the Q&A session, Cho told lawmakers that Seoul will respond strongly to Pyongyang's nuclear and missile provocations while working to re-establish dialogue between the two Koreas. Also during the hearing, Cho said that Seoul needs to craft bold and practical ways to resolve the North's nuclear issue. These comments come as President Moon Jae-in had expressed that he would seek a dual-track approach towards denuclearizing the North Korea. Cho also said Seoul needs to work on reopening the now closed Kaesong Industrial Complex once progress has been made towards North Korea's denuclearization. The unification ministry nominee had previously played a part in opening the jointly run complex during his time as a presidential secretary under the Do Mu Hyun administration. Next to face the lawmakers' questions is Labor Ministry nominee Cho Dae Up, who has his confirmation hearing scheduled for Friday. Since I'm in, I didn't use.